Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I'm here to do What's New Wednesday. This is a Five Below Art Supply Edition. I will be sharing some items that I picked up from Five Below. So if you are not familiar with Five Below, don't have a Five Below in your area, Five Below is a discount store where most things are $5 or less. Now they do have some items that are a little more than $5. It is more of a high-end Dollar Tree. I hate to make that comparison, but that is as close as I can get with the comparison. Um, they do sell quite different things from Dollar Tree. They have more tech items like Bluetooth speakers, chargers, the cords for your chargers, you know, the brick that goes in the wall. They have the cords and the bricks. They have phone covers. They have lots of makeup. They have hair accessories. They sell incense. I really love their incense. They're expensive, but I really like them. The throw is really good on their incense. Um, they have cups. They have some exercise equipment. They have toys and craft kits and books and of course art supplies. And recently the five below that I shop at increase the size of their art supply section and they have things that I've never seen in there before. So I'm gonna share some of those with you today. This is not from Five Below. I did look at the ones at Five Below, but the problem is they have them in plastic and I wasn't able to test the paper quality. So I didn't take a chance and buy any of those. They have watercolor paper. Uh, I think I saw mixed media paper. Now those I had felt previously and I didn't really like the quality so I didn't buy those. But if you are crafting, doing mixed media, or just playing around with doing some type of art, it's a good place to start if you don't want to spend a lot. So, and it depends on what you want to use the paper for. I wouldn't suggest their watercolor paper for watercolor, but you could use it for other things. So I do have this Arteza sketch pad, as I mentioned. Uh, I think it was in a two pack. My son has the other one that he uses and it's a pretty good size. I think it might be, let's see, eight, 0.3 by 11.7 so is that a4 um if you know let me know in the comments but i kept the packaging it has a clear pocket in the back it's 64 pages it says watercolor book um i thought it was a sketchbook but no it's watercolor paper yeah and it's got the texture on one side and smooth on the other side okay so we can work with this and if you're interested in this i will link it if i can find it in the description box below so the first thing that i got from five below is these six artists fine pens as it says super fine they were three dollars and 25 cents there are six of them in here 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, and the brush. And it has drawing prompts on the back for five days of drawing. And it says superior quality and nicely packaged. Now that's one thing about Five Below. Most of their products, even if they're not the greatest, they have pretty cool packaging. Their packaging is very nice. And I think that is one of the things that kind of drew me in with the art supplies, the display, how they had them. It was very nice, packaged nicely. Okay, so these are all hooked on a piece of plastic. Let's take them off. They feel kind of, I don't know, they feel cheap. <laughs> I mean, but for $3, I think I'm gonna jump into this swatch book. This is where I swatch my washi. And I started out swatching some of my specialty pens. So I would consider these some, a sort of specialty pen. So let's go in here. Um, let's start with the smallest nib. Let's put them in order. I probably shouldn't have messed them up. And brush, okay. So the point two. And I'm just going to put five 
below art pins and this one is 0.2 and I don't know what kind of swatches I want to do I guess I'll do this let's see if it bled I don't see any bleeding or ghosting this paper is pretty decent it's not the best this notebook is one of the journals from Michaels I think they're about five dollars says that it's 68 pounds or 100 GSM pretty decent paper like I said not the best this is the point four. try to make my line a little straighter and let's do hashes instead of scribbles so far I don't dislike them This is 0.6. Not bad. Kind of like that one. This is 0.8. Cool. This is point, uh, 1.0. And I can't really tell that big of a difference in the line strokes, actually. I can tell a difference in the way it looks and the way it Feels, but as far as the difference on the paper, I can't really tell. And then this one is the brush. I kind of like that. I'm not good with a brush. Okay, <laughs> so that's the brush. So these are totally worth it. I will get these again um, for drawing, sketching, lettering, maybe. I don't know, because I kind of like that brush. So the $3 and what was it, 20 cents? Yeah, so for $3.25, definitely worth it. I'm not even going to put these back in. I'm going to put them in my drawing supplies pouch. I think we're done with this for the moment. Let's get back to this one. Then I spotted these water brush pens or watercolor brush pens. They come in small sets of seven. Um, this set is the Tropical Island set and this one is Outer Space. I only saw these two. They may have more. I don't know. But it also comes with a water brush. I also saw packs of water brushes in Five Below. So that's a good deal. Um, they, these are $5 each. These brush pens look very similar to the ones from Arteza. So originally I wasn't going to get them, but then I said, well, let me try them as compared to Arteza and see how they are. And maybe if they're pretty decent, I'll actually do a real comparison video. But if you've ever wanted to try the art brushes, I'm pretty sure these would be a great choice, a great start. I'm going to start in the back in this book and just test out a few of these. Let's start with the Tropical Island watercolor brush pens, seven blendable tropical brush pens. I do not like these plastic containers at all. So it comes in a little tray like so. That's really nice. It can be used for something in a journal. Okay, let's try this out. And again, I'll probably just not keep these in the trays that they're in. Let's see, do they have a color name on them? No. So that's not great. Pretty tr true to color as far as what color the pen is versus what it puts down. Now that looks ex pretty much exactly the same. Those two look exactly the same, are they? Can't tell them apart, really. And 
And then let me do this and put a little circle here and see if we can come back and blend it. So these, I don't know which one is which. They look exactly the same. I'm guessing that they are exactly the same. They're pretty juicy. Okay, let's do the dot. Okay, so those are very nice colors. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other set. And then we're gonna take the water brush pen and see if we can blend out those circles and see what happens. So, but let's do this set which is outer space this says out of this world brush pens art 101 creative tools that's the brand i believe yes art 101 that's it seems like they sell that brand in michael's too i'm not sure so this is what they look like another nice carton backing Cool. And let's swatch. Okay, off the bat, I'm gonna say, that's really crooked going out. <laughs> but off the bat, I'm gonna say, I like these just as much as I like the Arteza brand. And I'm willing to guess that they are exactly the same. Um, so let's go ahead and test out the water brush. I'm gonna put some water in here and I'll be back. This is the water brush pen. It's stiff in the beginning, so let's squeeze some water down. There we go. So now the water is actually on the brush. You can see there. So let's see if we can blend these out with just the water. Yes. It doesn't blend a lot. It probably would blend more if I had, oops, I put too much water. If I had done it as soon as I put them down and I'm probably contaminating, but as you can see, they are blending out just like watercolor almost. Okay, some colors are better than others. <laughs> that one didn't do much. That one did, let's see. Okay, so it's, they work pretty good. I put too much water. That one didn't do much. Some do better than others. I think it's because they have more pigment. Okay, they work. Good purchase price, $5, less than a dollar per, and you're getting the water brush too. So love those. Since we've done the watercolor brush, let's check out this set of 12 fine point watercolor pens for $5. Again, pretty packaging with the hollow foil. Hard to resist. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I just don't wanna get too close so that 
you can't see what I'm doing, but okay, so we got, I'm going to leave those over there and then I'm going to go over here with these. This is what they look like. Hopefully you can see the tips. Got a rainbow, a nice selection, a rainbow of color. And let's get started. So I don't know why this purple is first, but we'll go with the color that they have. So I'm going to do a line. We could do a hash and I'm going to do a circle, fill it in and see what happens. Again, these are supposed to be watercolor pens. This one seems a little more juicy than the others. As far as how they feel, there is something moving around on the inside. I don't know what that is. Other than that, they feel okay. I didn't talk about the brush pens either. As far as how they feel, they feel exactly like the Artezas. So I'll put a link in the iCard showing my first impressions of the Arteza brush pens in case you want to check those out. I'll also link to them in the description box below. Out of the blue. Okay. Okay. These have, these actually have names. I didn't even think to look at that. This one is Roses Are Red. This one is Violets Are Blue. How cool is that? <laughs> this one is Tickled Pink. I like that. They won me with the names. Be Bright is this orange color. Hello Sunshine for the yellow. Uh, grass is Always Greener for this green color. Cool. That's all still wet and it's still blending. Um, go green. And we are using out of the blue. So I'm going to have to come back and write their names. Even though I'm going just as crooked on this one as I did on the other one. Maybe I should have drawn lines. Maybe I'll do that next time. Give myself a guideline so that I won't go crooked. It's easier to stay on the straight and narrow in the grid notebook. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you the name of that one. Once in a Blue Moon. This one is Bear With Me. This one doesn't have a manufacturer or brand name, but there is the information. This is probably a five below brand, maybe. Silver lining is this one. Very cool. And then this last one is little black pen. Cute, like little black dress. <laughs> okay, so they made that fun. All right, now let's see how watercolory they are. It's just a brush that I got water in. Yeah. Okay, let's test it out. So far, I'm not that impressed, but I 
think if we just did a line, the yellow looks good, but that's probably because you can barely see it anyway. Um, yeah, no. Let's try putting more water. Look how those have blended into each other. That blended out nicely, much better than it started. So maybe it just takes a little time and I don't have the patience to wait. I don't know. So again, even though these don't blend that great, I think it has a lot to do with the pigment and the actual color versus yeah because that gray silver color isn't doing anything at all but the black blended nicely this color here blended nicely the yellow did this red did so i guess i don't know maybe as you use them let's see i'm just gonna do half of the hash marks and see what happens just quickly See that blue and that blue does really good. So yeah, I don't know how well those are as far as watercolor, but they would make nice fine liners. So that's that. And I'm definitely going to go back and write the names beside them because those are cute names. <laughs> okay, so that is that. I also got these watercolors. They were $5. You can also get watercolor, a watercolor palette like this from Michaels for $5. But I can tell you they are extremely chalky. I didn't know anything about watercolor that much. Um when i bought the five dollar ones from michael's and so i painted in one of my moleskine notebooks with them and then later went back and just rubbed my finger across and it just basically came off on my finger and i really don't think that's supposed to happen so anywho i don't know much about watercolor so i'm not an expert on quality but i would imagine for your mixed media projects these might work fine. If you're just learning, they should probably be fine. We shall see. Uh, it comes with a brush. Let's see if I can get in here. Okay. So this doesn't bend all the way back, but it does have the little bubbles here so that you can use them to mix the paints in. We're not going to try all of these. Absolutely not. But let's just try some i'm not going to even use the brush i can feel chalkiness already that's just from opening it but let's see um let's do this green color let's start right here nice and pigmented i have to say maybe i just picked a good color let's pick a lighter color Zoom back in. Sorry. <laughs> mm, running out of space. Let's see. Can we put it right there? Yeah, see that one is a lighter color, so it doesn't. But it is pigmented, I have to say. Pretty nice. Let's try red. A reddish color. That's nice. And a purple. And then I want to try something that I've seen watercolors do. It probably won't work on the red. 
Let's go back and darken it on one side. It just came to me when that purple. And I know, I think you're supposed to like wet the paper first. Ooh, let me get that cleaned up. Contaminated that color. And what I'm doing is in the paper towel, I'm just squeezing a little water to try to clean the brush off. So we'll let those dry and see if they become chalky. But this is a nice set of colors. You got your red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, indigo colors, and your browns and black. You even have the white here. So a nice rainbow, a nice selection of colors. So that's pretty cool. And again, the little bubbles here, you can use those to mix your paints, to dilute the paint. I didn't dilute it. I just went straight from the pan to the paper just so you could see the pigment and the color. And I must say, nice color. We'll give that a chance to dry. Next in the paint category, I picked up these acrylic paints, um, 12 acrylic paints, 0.4 fluid ounces each. This set was $5. It has the five day drawing prompts distributed by 116 Holdings. There is the information on the back and the colors. Now I don't know if they had other colors. This is all that I saw. So let's get into it. I'm not an acrylic paint specialist, but I figured for $5, this was a good investment because if I did not like the actual paints or if I didn't find myself using the actual paints, I could use them to make acrylic sprays. So that's kind of what I have in mind, but you get quite a bit of paint. They are sealed. You have to use the cap to puncture the seal. So I'm just gonna do this one. And ooh, it gets on the cap. But I guess that's not bad if it dries there. And let's squeeze a dollop out, see what it looks like. And I'm just going to, I hate to put my finger in it. <laughs> let's take a spatula and spread it. So that's what it looks like. Not bad. And I like these spatulas from Dollar Tree. These, it's a makeup spatula, but as you can see, you can use it for other things. Let's try one of these yellow colors and they do have the names on them. This is Scarlet. This is Orange. This is Lemon Yellow. This one is Medium Yellow. This is Sap Green. I'm gonna use these <laughs> in my art journal just to see. This one is green deep. Then the rest are cerulean blue, deep blue, violet, burnt umber, black, and titanium white. So again, a nice rainbow of colors. You should be able to mix any color you want with this. And I will do a better job swatching them off camera because I don't wanna spin so much time opening them and testing them out. <gasps> Too much paint. Oh, I'm making a mess. And doing stuff like that. So <laughs> I will, ooh, that's pretty. I will come back and finish up. Let me swatch this off in my art journal because I don't want to waste paint. And I do have pages in here where I just kind of dump off the paint so that it gets used, it's not wasted. 
Okay. So that is it. I like those. There's still a lot of paint left on there. Scoop some of that off. Looks like a great deal. We shall see how they behave when they dry. Next up are these alcohol neutral markers, skin tones and grays, dual tip. There's 12 of them in here. They are $5 and the five drawing prompts. So I imagine they're the same brand or lack of a brand. And those are the colors. So all of these products that I have shown so far are things that I have never seen in Five Below before. This is new to me. Um, I'm pretty sure it's new to the store. So again, if you're in the art, you want to do mixed media, you don't want to make a huge investment. Um, you want to draw, color. These are so far pretty decent quality. I have to say all right do these have names this is what the tips look like nothing on the tips just the band of color around here it does have a label wrapped around it that isn't fully secured oh and it does have a number and a name this is very pale you can barely see it 134 raw silk uh, burnt umber Reddish brown, cool gray, warm gray, can't hold them all in my hand, blue gray, <laughs> um, I think I should probably use a different book for this, black, light camel, warm gray, I think that says baby skin pink, that doesn't look like pink, um, this one is green gray and warm gray. I bet you didn't know that there, there were that many colors of gray. Okay. Um, where do I want to swatch this? But these are alcohol markers and they may bleed through. Let's try this page. I don't want to close that yet because they're not dry. So let's see, I can put these in some kind of color order for me. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, we're not gonna put those in there. Um, Cause it's gonna bleed right through. So maybe I'll just get a piece of marker paper and then I can just tip it in to here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a piece of this paper from this marker pad that is from Hobby Lobby. And of course I did not pay $8.99 for it. I probably got it on a half off sale, something like that. Because these are alcohol markers, they will bleed through regular paper. Marker paper has a coating on it to limit that. It does show through but I don't think it will actually bleed through on something else. Let's put it on here so I can show you. So that's the uh, chisel tip. This is the bullet tip. Chisel. I can't really see the edge of the paper here. That's very light. So far, I like that these are easy to open. Hopefully that doesn't mean they're easy to dry out. They're easy for my uh, weakened hands to pull the caps off. I like that the brush pens gave me a little bit of trouble. These aren't, and I like these colors. I don't know if they had another set of colors. Uh, I didn't look very hard to see but these are nice colors. These are nice fall colors, actually. They call a lot of these grays. I'm not so sure. I think we're getting into more of the gray colors now. Let 
Yeah. Is this dry? Pretty much. And I don't see that there is any notation on here showing which end is the chisel end and which end is not. So, yeah. Kind of have to guess. But you could always put a little sticker on one or end or the other. Did I already do this one? I think I did. Oopsie. <laughs> Messed up my thingy my bob. Yeah, I had already done that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I did that brown one twice. I'll just white out over it or something. Okay. So that is all of alcohol markers. It does show through, oops, I got paint on there. It wasn't dry. It does show through, but it doesn't bleed through on the marker paper. Okay, um, so that's it for those, like those. And last but not least, we have these illustration markers, 18 markers for $4. These are less expensive than the 12. Um, they actually have the names and the numbers on them. These are more similar to Copic markers. If you are into illustration and art, you may already know about Copic markers. Um, it doesn't say these are alcohol ink. It says drawing challenge, create a landscape that includes a sunrise or sunset. So yeah, it doesn't say on the box if they are alcohol ink markers. And I'm not gonna swatch all of these. I won't put you through that. But they are dual tip. They do not. Let's see. I'm looking to see if there's a notation of what end is what end. Yes, I think. It does have a little drawing on there. So this is the chisel. That's the bullet. Let's just test a couple of them. We won't do too many. And it does have, like I said, the name and a number. This one is Vivid Red. I'm going to come over and give myself some room to write next to those. So that's the chisel. And that's the bullet. Hey, they seem... The same to me, but we shall see. Let's do another color because I want to do these in rainbow color. Oops, in rainbow color for me. So, chisel. And again, do they match the caps? Kind of, they do. Kind of. <laughs> At least they're not extremely far off. I've had some that are completely different from what the cap is, so that's good. Okay, so this video is long enough, I think, and I'm having too much fun doing this, but I will save it for later and won't bore you any further. So the all of these items are $5 or less from Five Below. Look at all this that we have. You can make all kinds of art with this. And like I said, they even have the papers. They have canvases. Um, so basically everything you would need to get your art on. I was so excited to see all of this. And I haven't really been doing a lot of art. I do some mixed media. But I haven't been doing a lot of art projects or whatever. But... 
got lots of inspiration here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com if you have any comments or questions please leave them below thanks for watching and i'll talk to you later bye